Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Cadix Dolphin security slash action camera. Now before starting this review I'm going to tell you straight ahead that the only common thing that the Cadix Dolphin has with these box style cameras is its shape and its quality is much inferior and of course it has a much lower price tag of $39 so you have to know what to expect. So in this video I'm going to go over its features and specs and show you some flight footage. Inside the box, along with the camera, you're getting the user manual, a USB to micro USB cable for charging the camera, and also this magnetic wall mount along with a double-sided tape and two screws for fixing the Cadex Dolphin to your wall, since except being an action camera, it's also a security camera with a Wi-Fi connectivity. In terms of dimensions, the Cadex Dolphin weighs about 52 grams, so it's a little bit lighter than the Runcom 5. In addition, its outer dimensions are 37.5 by 37.5 by 36.6 millimeters, so it's going to fit any GoPro Session 5 mount. On the top side of the camera, you can find the power button and a reset button that is going to enable you to switch between the two available modes, and I'm going to get to it in a moment. On the front of the camera, you can find a microphone, and over here, LEDs that are going to indicate the mode of the camera, if it's being charged, and also if the battery is low. On the back of the camera, we can find under this cover a micro USB port for charging its built-in battery, and a micro SD card slot that can accommodate up to 128GB micro SD cards. Now by the way, initially it was stated that this camera is going to be waterproof, and eventually it's not, but it still has an IP rating of IP64, which means that this camera is splashproof. So it will withstand little amounts of water, and maybe you can use it in the light rain, but I wouldn't take it for a swim. In terms of technical specs, the Cadex Dolphin is only capable of recording at 1080p 30 frames per second, and actually on my test it recorded only at 1080p 25 frames per second, but hopefully this issue is going to be fixed on the next firmware update. In order to turn on the camera, you will need to long press the power button for about 3 seconds. And as you can see, now the camera powered up, and we can see the green LED mode, which indicates that now the camera is on direct connection mode. That means that you'll be able to connect to the camera directly through its Wi-Fi network, and if you'd like to start the recording procedure, you will need to short press the power button, and as you can see, now the green LED is recording, and if you'd like to stop recording, you'll need to simply press it again. In order to switch to internet mode, which will enable you to access the camera remotely, you will need to long press the reset button for about 3 seconds. Now you can see that the LED turned blue, and now we'll be able to access the camera remotely through a dedicated app. The Dofigo app is only available currently for Android, but as far as I know, it should be available on iOS soon. After downloading and installing the app, open it up. You will need to log in to your existing account or create one. Then hit a device, choose the Smart Mini option, and then you will need to enter the details of your Wi-Fi network. Then hit Next Step and follow the instructions on the screen. So first of all, you will have to press and hold the power button for 3 seconds until the blue light is going to start flashing. If it's not flashing, I recommend to long press the reset button for 3 seconds. As you can see now, the blue LED is flashing, so we can hit blue light is flashing, hit next step, and then you will need to scan this barcode in order to configure the camera. Now let's name the camera. And if you'd like, you can also choose a predefined name. Hit save. And now we can start using the camera. So you can see, now we can see the video feed on the screen. But of course, there is a little bit delay. By default, the camera is set to Full HD. But if you'd like, you can also choose lower settings. The camera has a built-in microphone. So if you'd like, you can also stream the audio. So after unmuting it, now you're going to be able to hear the recorded audio. If you'd like to snap a photo, you can press the camera button. And if you'd like to record the video to your device, you can press the record button. And if you'd like to stop the recording, you can press it again. There are some glitches in this app. So for example, now when I choose full screen display, we can still see the image is not 
stretch to the full size display and hopefully a new updated version is going to be available soon. For this menu you can adjust the settings of the camera such as the time and you can also update the firmware of the camera which I've already done. Now by the way when the camera is on direct connection mode it's going to generate its own Wi-Fi hotspot and then you'll be able to connect to it and watch the video feed through the app that I just showed you. In addition, if it wasn't clear, when the camera is on internet mode, it's going to be connected directly to your Wi-Fi network at home or at the office, and then you'll be able to access it remotely using the Dofigo app. According to Codex, the built-in battery should last for about three hours, but in my experience, it's a little bit less than that. And in case you're wondering, you'll be able to power the camera while it's recording. Inside the kit, you're getting this magnetic wall mount. So there is a magnet here and a metal plate on the bottom of the dolphin. So you can just stick it like that and mount the camera to your wall and you have a nice looking security camera. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you some flight footage that was captured with the dolphin. And as you're about to see, the quality is pretty much comparable with the Hawkeye Firefly 1. At first, I thought about comparing the dolphin with the Rancom 5. But in my opinion, this comparison is not very fair and pretty much useless. But if you'd like to see it anyway, please let me know. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions about the Cadex Dolphin, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.